Hello and welcome. In today's episode with Problem Series, uh, let's discuss the problem with the Arceus, Legend of Arceus game. Now, it's like the future unreleased uh, pro, uh, video Pokemon game. Legend of Arceus. And before we start, I want to tell everyone, I really love this idea. Mm -hmm. The entire survival historical aspect of Pokemon is really cool. Going back to the feudal Japanese style, uh, medieval uh, history of Pokemon in the lore and build actually building in lore. I really love it. There's so much good that could happen. Now, one, I don't like Arceus because I'm not much of a later gen guy. Yes, I'm a Pokemon boomer. Uh, the other problem I have is Arceus is not as powerful as Mew. I don't care what anyone says. Ah, uh, no, he's a cosmic being. Yeah, who needs like the power of mil billions of unknowns and three legendaries to level a city. While Mew can reverse time, read your thoughts from across a continent, uh, level pretty much continents, uh, restore life, take life. Um, he could create matter itself from nothing. Yeah. No and, offense, but Arceus is not a god. He's a pretender. And, and, and Mew, then, Mew is a Pokemon god. And then whenever Mew is brought up, Arceus throws a fit. Yeah, it seems like it. Now, we're not going to get too deep into that, but the problem I have is maybe they should restrict... I don't know what they're going to do, but I would suggest that they restrict their uh, the number of Pokemon you can carry in your party, and you have to leave Pokeballs behind at a certain... Like, you know, in your home. Or you can only catch, like, five or six. And the because, you know, these are more archaic Pokeballs, and you don't have Bill's PC... So you now have to, when you go to say, okay, I want my, let's say, I have six Pokemon. I have a Charmander, a Bulbasaur, a Squirtle, Pikachu, a Butterfree, and an Ekans. I'm just... Rough example. Yeah. But then I see the, you see the uh, Articuno and you're like, oh man, I really want that Articuno. But you have to release a Pokemon to catch it. And I know that a lot of people would go, oh man, that's going to be painful. Yeah. It would be physically painful for me to do, but it would mean that you have to choose your Pokemon and what you catch with care. Something else that uh, one could overlap with uh, not just the Pokemon Rangers series, but with, uh, hey, hey, let's go uh, Pikachu and Eevee, where you, uh, how you send your uh, extra Pokemon to O for uh, rewards, were important matters and this could also probably fit into a build building a village simulation thing where oh uh, there was a fire that erupted they need water pokemon oh let's go catch a squirtle or a piplup I and and hand it over to a certain yeah where you don't where, where yeah i get it you're basically building a small town all the while, there's this big, looming threat that's coming, and you have to train a team for that. And, yeah, yeah, I I like that. I would also suggest maybe, uh, maybe get, like, sticking to the first two gens in general, but hear me out. You do have the big, looming threat, but you have the story focused either around the three legendary birds... And the store and the game is set in probably the Orange Islands or in Johto, where you know, like almost by the sea, where because Johto, you know, to the south of Johto and Kanto, there's the Orange Islands, as we all know, um, or I think that's where they are, and where the story is focused there, and about you know you having to in the end calm down the three birds, because this is when you know some guy, the chosen one, showed up to uh, calm their fury. But I'd also suggest having, with the first two gen Pokemon, now hear me out, this would allow them to give each Pokemon maybe a small story arc. Let's say, but you're restricted to like three Pokemon or something. And let's say you catch a Spearow. And depending on the personality or something, you might have like, let's say it's a timid Spearow. Well, your timid Spearow has to meet with its old flock and meet with some of its old bullies. And you have to... Help it, inspire it, and train it, and fight those bullies. Or you've got, let's say, it has an angry personality. It has to meet up with, uh, you end up meeting up with 
uh, some of those that used to bully, and it has to you have to kind of tell it that was wrong of you, and it has to make peace there. Or you have your Squirtle, who I won't say is an ancestor of certain Squirtles with shades, but let's just say he's got a bandana and some sunglasses. Okay. But you've got your squirrel used to be a mischief maker around town, around a certain town, and they hate squirrels. You now have to, squirrel has to come to their rescue and also has to apologize for all his mischief. Or he's starting, like, you need to teach your bubble sort to lighten up. So squirrel ends up, you enlist your squirrel to lighten the mood up a little. And you know, things like that, where each Pokemon has a story arc, a mm -hmm. character arc. And something else that I'd consider, too, since you're mentioning uh, Johto, would be, instead of Pokemon Legends Arceus, Pokemon Legends Ho-Oh, set in Ecrutique City. Okay, so, whereas I would want to focus on the birds, and on uh, the three first birds, and Lugia and the Orange Islands, you'd want to focus on Ecrutique. Yes, where there's a lot of lore and history involving Ecrutique, and its connections to the to Ho-Oh and Lugia, the Burnt Tower. The dogs. The, the dogs. dogs. And perhaps right after the bur burning of the Burnt Tower. Depending, or if that... Uh, well, there'd be centuries apart, I think. Okay. But you know what? I like the, your idea. So, like, my idea might be work good as a prequel. Or, like, you know, like, a first game or something. Your idea was even better. And it would probably be a good sequel... Mm -hmm. And you can focus on the dogs in Ho-Oh and, yeah, on uh, the north of Johto. This way, there's a lot of world lore and world building that's being done. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't stop them from uh, basing uh, various uh, Legends game off of many different legendaries. Like, yeah. you could have uh, one based off of Celebi or, or Mew. Or Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos individually. Mm -hmm. At some point, or one on uh, Suicune. Like, what do you think of my idea mm -hmm. of like even going into those ones? Yes, you have the larger one, the intro game for them for all three, but then you have one game which is about just one of them. Yeah, and there's a lot of historical lore in various Pokemon games. Yeah, but all it is is that most of it, all it is is essentially Pokedex lore. Yeah, po and sure, there are some. Man, that d state what happened in history. How did, for example, Kyogre and Groudon got uh, seal, sealed away and put to sleep? How did uh, Palkia and Dialga and Giratina get thrown into that uh, pocket dimension in the void? Yeah. That, these are all stories that they could explore. Yeah. Well, I think that's uh, enough for today. Yeah, so if you like this video, if you have your own opinions, feel free to let us know. I'd be very curious to see what people think. Uh, so like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment.